Hello Portland, this is Dave the Bald Guy. You guessed it, I'm still putting the bald guy in baldguylimo.com. So before we get started, I ask that you push that little subscribe button and that little bell button so that you know when we're going to be having a brand new video pop up that's gonna help you in your business and hopefully you can communicate with me and what's working well with your business and I can add that to my collective as well and we can all be successful. So today I'm gonna to talk about three ways, three ways that I gorilla market um, and how it's been successful for me. So I'm, I'm assuming you know what guerrilla marketing is. It's, it's marketing that's a little bit outside the norm. We're not advertising on TV. We're not advertising on the radio. Heck, we're not even paying for spots on Facebook. I Facebook like crazy, but I'm not paying for it, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So today we're going to talk about three ways that I personally guerrilla market. Uh, <laughs> how do you like this? How do you like this? This is my daughter's Santa Claus hat. Check that out. Pretty cool, huh? Star Wars? Pretty neat. So, a couple of ways. One thing, if you know something about me, you know that I don't wear... I haven't bought myself a t-shirt in forever. I've got... I don't know if you see this, but it's got Black Panther on it. That's what I'm wearing around right this second. Uh, my wife bought this for me as a Father's Day gift because uh, I'm a big Marvel junkie. I always have been since I was a kid. Just like Star Wars. But one thing I don't do is I don't go out and buy myself shirts. Uh, I... I really will especially refuse to purchase a shirt with a company logo on it. Okay, I don't wear a shirt with a Nike swoosh or even any logos that, uh, that I've worked for. And the reason being is when you wear the shirt with a Nike swoosh, you're a walking billboard. That's all you are is a walking billboard for, uh, for Nike. So why, why would I pay money for a billboard to put upon my chest. Shouldn't Nike be paying me to walk around and advertise their product for them? So because of that, my wife went out and she got me a present. Let's see if we can get this. Can you see this? Can you see, hold on. Uh, uh, you see that? Baldguylimbo.com. Look at that. It's a t-shirt. Whenever I leave the house and it's not cold enough that I need a sweater, if the weather's warm enough, I put that shirt on and I walk around. I'm a walking billboard. Yeah. Instead of people walking around with a Nike swoosh on it, people are looking around. I get so many reactions from people. They laugh, they laugh, they laugh, but they're going to remember bald guy limo is what they're going to remember. Sometimes I get people who go, hey man, I've heard of you because I do uh, a lot of Facebook posts in um, uh, Facebook groups that are dedicated just for towns. So here I'm in Oregon City. So I I mentioned my service in the Oregon City page and then the Canby Oregon page and I'm going in and out of focus. A high quality camera that I bought. Um, so sometimes people have already heard of me. This, so this is great. This actually reinforces. So go out and get yourself a t-shirt and with your company logo and such and walk around with it on. You're a walking billboard. People pay attention to this stuff. I see people with, uh, you know, Marvel or Star Wars shirts and I say, hey man, nice shirt. Hey ma'am, you look great with that shirt on. I always say that to people. I walk around with bald guy limo on it. There was a time when we were uh, advertising on television during a local pro wrestling show, WCWC. You, you may have even watched it. Uh, it's available here on YouTube if you want to watch it. And uh, I'd get recognized at the grocery store from people who watched the show. Uh, and if, I'll tell you, if I had this shirt then, man, they would have they would have absolutely dug it. They would have been all like, Ooh, look, it's the bald guy limo guy. Ooh, look at him. Ooh, bald guy limo, yay. So this is one way I used a guerrilla market. It was not cheap. And by cheap, I mean, you know, I think it costs 60 bucks because you got to go to the printer and you got to give them the... But once they have the uh, logo in their system and it's all ready to go, they can put it on everything. I keep telling my daughter, who's in high school, I keep telling her, I'm going to make one up with a hoodie for her. She likes to wear hoodies. So I'm going to make one of the hoodie for her. I'm going to force her to wear it at school. And now she's a walking billboard to all the seniors who need a limousine for prom. So I thought that was a really good idea. So if your business could always use a walking billboard, consider doing this. Uh, it's not a bad idea. You know, you gotta make sure you don't spill anything on it because you don't wanna wash it a thousand times. It's gonna wear the logo off. But uh, this is a great idea. Walking billboard, number one. Number two, oh, my cat is laying on all my stuff. She decided to, she decided to come over and lay on all my stuff. This, you see that. It looks like a business card. It's actually a magnet. It's just a small little magnet. My family and I, whenever we go to the grocery store, whenever we go anywhere, 
we'd grab a bunch of these and we actually put them in places strategically. A good place is actually in the restroom, uh, right where the, uh, the toilet paper dispenser, you know, it's always in a stall and it's always a metal, there's always a metal partition between you and the next stall over. This goes great right over because somebody's usually graffitiing on the, or carving their initials or whatever. I just usually put this over a profanity laced word and put it there. But the thing about this is, you know, people are in the restroom, they are sitting there, and if they're not on their phone, then they usually look at something and they're gonna look at this. Now they may not need a limousine right now, but they're gonna remember, bald guy limo is one of those things that people are just gonna remember. So that's kind of a cool idea. And sometimes we'll walk through the store and I'll place this wherever throughout the store, as long as it's metallic. <laughs> And I'll just put it someplace so somebody walking by noticing bald guy limo. That's a great guerrilla way of, of marketing. I got these when I ordered my last business cards from Vistaprint. Because you know how when you get the Vistaprint, there's always the add-ons on the end? At the very end, there's always these add-ons like, would you like to buy this? Would you like to buy that? And they say, would you like to buy 50 of these for like 12 bucks or whatever? Postage included. Yay. So I'm like, you know, what the heck? I'll give it a try. You know, it doesn't hurt anything. It's a nice logo. My, and my daughter made that. And it works out very well. So uh, that's the second way that I actually guerrilla market. The third way I guerrilla market, and this, this works really well uh, for us because we are a limousine service, okay? So for us, because we are a limousine service, is I take our most recent business card, right there, it's really shiny. I had it made shiny on purpose. Take our most recent business card, and then when I go to the grocery store, you go to the grocery store, there's always a stack of beer, you know, there's a Coors, there's a Coors Light, and so on and so forth. I take these cards, and I put them down into the uh, where the handle is. You just slide it down, it just drops down. Just drops down. I put about 20 of them in just tonight. And now, people are going to be looking at my card that otherwise, I don't think they'd ever know who we were. All right, so that's an interesting way of actually getting the word out that we are that we exist. Um, I actually got a phone call about a week and a half ago from a woman. She goes, I just came back from Winco, and I bought a case of beer, and I go home, and I open it up to put the beer in the fridge, and your card fell out. And I laughed for 20 straight minutes because I thought that was a fun way of marketing. And it is a fun way of marketing because there's a lot of people out there who... Uh, go on wine tours or they go on uh, pub crawls or whatever. They want to be treated with a little bit of luxury. Now, this this form of um, guerrilla marketing doesn't work great if you're a florist, but try to uh, come up with a way that you can very subtly drop a card into... <laughs> if I know what I'm doing. If I drop a card into something that potential clients could be seeing. I'm trying to come up with a way I could put our message actually on the wine bottles at the store um, that won't get taken off three minutes later because obviously they don't want to sell they don't want to sell wine with our company name on it. It's almost like they're endorsing us. If I slide it into the beer, they can't get into it. So as long as I don't get caught, I'm kind of good. There's nothing illegal about it. They'll just say, dude, don't do it anymore. That's all. So that's a fun way of actually doing a little bit, little bit of guerrilla marketing. And that's what we've been doing uh, recently. A lot of fun ways from being a walking billboard to uh, the uh, magnets. Wherever you go, the magnets are, are good in uh, restroom wineries, actually. We're going to take a, a winery tour this weekend and uh, just walk in and just put up the, the business cards in the bathrooms. <laughs> Which will be uh, these magnets. These will be a lot of fun in those... Uh, in those there, because now people are like, oh, we could actually use a limo. Why don't we call these people and see what they do? So that's a good way of doing guerrilla marketing. Hey, listen, if you've come up with a fun, fun way of guerrilla marketing, I want to hear about it in the comment section down below. So come up with a fun way to do some guerrilla marketing. And again, please push that subscription button and that little bell. It actually helps us out a lot. So I want to thank you very much. Please get your message out by letting us know how you've been doing some guerrilla marketing. And uh, have a great Christmas. We'll see you later. And of course, ballguylimo.com. Merry Christmas.